Namaste. This is a very short introduction video as to why I made this channel. Originally, I made it for my students, so when they left the studio, they would continue practicing, and not just when they came back here. But I've decided after 18 years of being on the path of Raja Yoga, as well as learning from a multitude of disciplines, that it was time that I shared knowledge. But let me give you a little bit of background on who am I. Well, really, I am just a consciousness that has come into this human form. But this human form was born in Zambia. I was born and raised in Zambia. My parents were born and raised in Africa as well, and my grandparents came from Gujarat in India. I am 52, loving that number. <laughs> <laughs> and I have schooled in a lot of different countries and worked in a lot of different countries until I came here. And here is a group of 10 islands in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, literally in the middle of nowhere. And I've been here for 18 years. For the last 18 years, I've been on this path of yoga. And because I live in a country where there are no ashrams, no gurus, no teachers, every year for four months, I have left the country and traveled to study. Not only have I studied yoga, which has been the primary path, which is the primary knowledge which will be given to you here, but I have also studied with sound healers, Chinese medicine practitioners, Tao healers. Um, I've studied with Western doctors, trauma surgeons, brain surgeons, doctors who have all become yogis to understand the human form. I, um, I haven't, everything I have learned, I've put into practice. So I am not, I'm asking you to do the same thing. Don't just believe what I'm saying. Take what I'm saying and practice it and notice what happens within you. So you can move to a point of meditation and come to a point of self-realization, not just a belief system. Because the foundation of belief can crumple, crumple at any time if someone shakes it enough. But when you have really connected and seen it for yourself and experienced it, then that foundation becomes solid. So what I've done here is I've created a number of different videos that take truths from all the disciplines I've studied, as well as from yoga, truths that I have experienced and known for myself. And I've done that in the form of giving you videos that have recorded in the studio, small, shorter videos to work certain parts of your body, videos on breathing, how to move the five energy systems, meditations, talks about concepts that we throw around all the time, like acceptance, surrender, but really we're not using them properly because they're huge concepts. Talks about the yamas and the niyamas, the guidelines we use to purify our mind. But basically the foundation of all these videos is how do you purify the human body and all of its layers so you can connect to your true self and how do you move energy? because consciousness sits in every single cell and when that energy moves uninhibited in your body, it's when you really connect not only to your true self, but to this magnificent universe that has all these different frequencies. And as you arrive at different frequencies, your experiences are really different. I also decided after a really long time to put myself out there because when I entered the spiritual realm, I was surrounded by teachers and gurus and they were all male and they were at the highest levels of their disciplines and they didn't look like me and it was very confusing for me to not have someone that looked like me because I don't dress like them, I don't look like them, I am a female, you don't see a lot of feminine voices speaking about this journey or sharing this journey and so I found it important that it, I wanted to share it. Because my journey has been very different, Either though, even though it's been the yogic journey, my spirit guides are eagles, which comes from shamanism. And there's a history of that in me. And I can channel light, which freaked me out when I first started. And that comes from my ancestral knowledge, my, some, my conscious knowledge, the incarnations, the journey I've been through before I came here as a witch. And I didn't believe in any of this. Really, like if 18 years ago I was listening to me talk, I'd be like, oh, come on, <laughs> is she crazy? But I've experienced and I've realized and it's because it was so varied and so different and didn't fit into any box, it was very confusing for me when I first started this journey. So I thought it was important to give a different face, a different look to the same knowledge, the same truths, 
but it looks different, it's being presented different, and it doesn't come in a box. Because we are all unique, we've all come with a unique gift, we've all come with a unique story, and our journey is all going to be different depending on what frequencies we're connecting to. So enjoy the videos, they are very varied, and um, you may have noticed I have disabled the comment section on all of them, because to be honest, if you don't like them and you're not enjoying them, don't watch them. The way I've disabled the comment section is the same way I've disabled my ego. <laughs> there is no need for either one of them. So it's like anything in life. If you don't like it, just don't engage in it. We don't have to like rip everything to shreds. We just have to choose not to engage or give it energy. So please enjoy. And maybe one day I'll see you in the studio. And just know that as we move along, the classes will change, the videos will change, because I am on a constant journey. And I'm going to share that journey with you. I am now able to look at all my past, my traumas, all of it, and be able to view it objectively as a story that no longer influences me. And I've had quite the journey. <laughs> Pretty much most people that come through my studio that have gone through something, I probably have experienced it. But it has been not only a journey of great suffering, but also a journey of great magnificence. But it is the suffering that drove me onto this path. And I'm very grateful and thankful for all my teachers and for where it has taken me because it has taken me into the unknown. I live a life with possibilities that I could never ever imagine and lives and things I'm experiencing that I thought were once impossible because I have just opened myself up and surrendered and I'm following my consciousness and it is leading me to what I can only term as brilliance. So don't believe what I say in these videos. Practice it for yourself and see what happens because let me be really honest with you. It's not a question of coming to your mat two or three times a day if you really want to take this journey. If you really want change within you and to live a magnificent life without suffering and attachment, because that's another concept we use very wrongly, <laughs> then you have to do the work and you have to do the work every day. And at some point in my life, I stopped trying to fit the yogic path around my life and I chose the path and moved my life around it. So I spend enormous amounts of my day in contemplation and meditation and writing. Um, so it's, a, it's not, there's no quick fix to this. There's no Fitbit, no meditation app. There's nothing that you can do that will change you overnight. It is a hard journey. It is a never ending journey, but it is an absolutely phenomenal journey of what you experience when you get on it. Namaste. Have a beautiful day.